welcome. I know it's like crappy quality, <laughs> uh, but some uh, new in KY Tribune. This is huge. You have the House budget. So Bevin says, hey, fucking, you know, legislature, when are you going to propose a budget? So the House was like, here's your fucking budget. And now you got the Supreme Court Chief Justice, John D. Mitten Jr., being like, what the fuck? We wanted millions. We wanted $77 million more than what they were going to give us. They're not giving us enough money. Oh, my God, we're going to have to fire people, and we're going to have to cut back on personnel. So the, you know, biased, corrupt criminal justice system, which has millions of dollars, they would be short $36 million in 2017 and $40 million in 2018. So $77 million shortfall, holy shit. He gets paid uh, over $100,000. All the judges do, uh, and there's district judges, circuit court judges, appeals judges, and they get can double dip in retirement. So they get these... So essentially, he's crying wolf. Why is this? Okay, it was confusing to me. <laughs> um, so uh, John Minton Jr. was confused. He's like uh, the boy who cried wolf. He's trying to make it a huge deal. Personnel makes up 87% of our budget. The shortfall will have a significant impact on our non-elected employees. Well, you're not elected, so... Why, how many employees does not elected officials need to have? Maybe a clerk, but there's a clerk. There's a circuit court clerk for every fucking county, 120 circuit court clerks. So that's the one who runs the, I mean, you already have personnel. You already have a fucking office dedicated, so you don't need your personal staff. We already have elected positions that we're paying, so they're paying, you know, they get tax money. It, they're elected. <laughs> okay. So the, there's actually special districts, too. So there are some districts where it just created out of fucking thin air. The criminal, <laughs> the judicial system in Kentucky is probably the most fucking corrupt of all the fucking branches. Hands down, without a fucking doubt, it's a, a slaughterhouse. It's not justice. You're accused by a police. Another way that this John Minton Jr., the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, is bitching about the fucking budget is he's sitting there saying, well, we're, we're not paid um, as other fucking judges around the country, so that means there's more corrupt states out there. And he's saying that they should be paid more to get that high caliber experience, great quality fucking judge. And if we're not paying them enough, they haven't had a raise in about a decade. They haven't, a, he called it a significant salary adjustment. You do need a significant salary adjustment. It needs to be cut in half. You need to be taking, actually, you should take the, uh, the less, the, the weakest link, how the poorest person's income is the same income you should take. $10,000 per capita per person in Owsley County. So you need $10,000. Live how the least of your residents are living. And if you can't live on what they're living, how the fuck do you think they're managing? So, um, you know, don't rise above your class. Rise with your class. Chief Justice Minton is just, he's just crybaby. He's a fucking crybaby. And he's just like, oh, I don't have fucking $87 million over the next two years. The House budget is actually pretty exciting stuff because you have um, restoring cuts to K through 12 in higher education. Bevin wanted to cut education, the universities, like by 10% or something. All that money has been put back into education, so they're fully funding education. Uh, they're also increasing the state's contribution to the teacher retirement system, taking money Bevin set aside for future contributions to the woefully underfunded pension systems. The bill now heads to the Republican-led Senate, where it's expected to change. Greg Stumbo, um, a fucking Rocky Balboa figure in Kentucky Democratic politics, if there ever was one, uh, his tenacity and his uh, principled moral fucking core, is right on the money, usually. Um, a Democrat from Prestonsburg said the budget was an education statement by the House. So they want to fully fund education. And he said, I'd rather have the vote saying I voted in favor of restoring those cuts. I voted in favor of reducing the debt. I voted in favor of making sure the pension systems were sound. I voted in favor of not letting the governor have a $500 million slush fund. $500 million slush fund. And... 
more about the House budget. You had $193 million. House lawmakers put all that money back. So he cut the state colleges and universities by $193 million. $193 million. So he cut the, I mean, that's $87 million is how much the judicial branch is getting cut by the House plan, and they're all up in arms about that. But when the colleges and universities were cut by $193 million, which is, what, twice as much, they're all, it's like their priorities are misplaced. It's like they want to make sure that there's fascism, but they don't give a shit about education and whether or not the citizens of Kentucky are learning. Um, no cuts for colleges and university is what the House of Democrats, Greg Stumbo's Democrats, are saying. More money for preschool, so they're in favor of preschool. The state's public preschool program, the House budget puts the money back, adds more to it. The plan calls for $7.5 million to make more children eligible for the program and another $7.5 million for public school districts to send teachers to private daycare centers to teach children there. Raises for state troopers, $1 billion retirement. There's the $1 billion in retirement, cancer screenings, public education, raises for state troopers. The House agreed with Bevin to spend $21.7 million to give raises to state troopers. The House also added uh, $765,000, uh, 900000 765900 to give equal raises to commercial vehicle enforcement officers, which are also included. I hate them fucking vehicle enforcement. Like, are they real cops? Vehicle enforcement. They're, they just, they're after the machines, just the vehicles. They, they give the machines the tickets. And when the machines take over, you know, maybe we need people like that. Um, but uh, <laughs> cancer screenings, people, we got 100 uh, highest cancer rates in the country, so the House is including an extra million dollars for colon cancer screenings and another million for breast and cervical cancer screenings. Public education, they spend about 4000 per student in Kentucky. Uh, there's no change. It's the same as Bevin proposed. However, Bevin's budget reduced funding for other educational programs, including textbooks reading and tutoring. Who needs textbooks anyways? Reading, tutoring, I mean, are these essentials? They have in the Tennessean, Nicole Young, Robertson County Times. She writes about Joseph Harris, 34 years old, of Lewisburg, Kentucky, pulled into the restaurant parking lot, exited his vehicle, and shot his former girlfriend, Amanda Harper, 28, of Russellville, if she's sat in her vehicle waiting in the restaurant's drive through line, according to a news release issued by Kentucky State Police Tuesday evening. Afterward, Harris left the scene on foot, heading north on, or heading north on North Main Street. The Kentucky State B.J. Uh, Eaton, a Kentucky State Police officer, said, then Harper left the McDonald's parking lot in her vehicle and crashed into a building across the street where she was later treated by emergency responders. Eaton said she suffered a single gunshot wound to her upper body and was taken to, by ambulance to the medical center in Bowling Green where she was listed in stable condition late Tuesday. The news release said Russellville police also made contact with Harris in front of the superwash on North Main Street, not far from the scene of the new initial shooting. He still had a gun on him at the time. After being challenged by responding officers, Sergeant Morris Kisselbaugh and Patrolman Stephen Meredith and Seth Many national rankings put Kentucky near the bottom, put Kentucky near the bottom in categories such as obesity, poverty, heart disease, diabetes, high tobacco use, and poor test skills, uh, poor test scores. So, you know, lack of education, lack of health, overweight, sick, dumb, and poor. Okay, so it's a sad reality. We hope in the coming years that Kentucky can improve in these areas. But in the meantime, the schools are actually doing, like, surpassing all the marks. So we have a very smart, educated, evolved, young, uh, the baby boomers of the baby boomers, the young generation, Generation Y and Z. The millennials are fucking intelligent as fuck. So that's good news. There's some hope for Kentucky's future. If they're able to retain that talent and get them into useful positions to better advance Kentucky as a whole to contribute to society, to have personal fulfillment, to be able to make their own in enough income to take care of themselves and their families. So there's, you know, that's a little bit about Kentucky. You know, um, Kentucky 